Hi guys, welcome back to the Go Anfield channel. Liverpool's recent defeat against Atalanta in the Europa League still stings, even two days later. However, the upcoming match against Crystal Palace at Anfield offers a chance for redemption. Until then, the disappointment lingers. The players too are likely grappling with the aftermath. Thursday's performance fell short of expectations, prompting rightful criticism directed at individuals like Darwin Nunez. Yet amidst the disappointment lies an opportunity. If Liverpool can harness this sense of failure for tomorrow's showdown with Palace, they'll be a force to reckon with. Despite the setback, there's still much at stake, and Liverpool has the potential to transform adversity into motivation. Initially, shock rippled through both fans and pundits following the match. Now, Alexis McAllister has shared how the players involved reacted in the aftermath of Liverpool's joint worst home European defeat. Understanding exactly why Liverpool faltered against Atalanta remains elusive. While signs of fatigue had been creeping in over recent games, the extent of the downturn was unprecedented in Jurgen Klopp's tenure. While there were a few bright moments, such as Klopp's commendation of Curtis Jones overall, there were few positives to glean. Fortunately, it seems the players themselves recognize this. Speaking to LiverpoolFEC.com today, Mac Allister admitted that the Reds' dressing room had been virtually silent after the game. There was not much to say, I think we all feel the same, said the 25-year-old, when asked how the reaction amongst the players had been. It didn't feel good during the game, and it didn't feel good afterwards. It's as simple as that. We couldn't do what we wanted. What we know, it's credit to them as well. They did a very good game, said Mac Allister. With Liverpool's Premier League title aspirations in focus once again, all eyes are on their upcoming fixture against Crystal Palace at Anfield. Following their draw against Manchester United last Sunday, securing a win against Palace becomes imperative. Looking ahead, Liverpool also have the opportunity to reclaim some dignity in the return match against Atalanta on Thursday. Virgil van Dijk remains optimistic, acknowledging that while the tie isn't lost, a remarkable performance is necessary to overturn the deficit. The journey to Italy marks the beginning of a challenging stretch, encompassing four away games in just nine days. Subsequent matches against Fulham, Everton and West Ham demand a strong response from McAllister and the rest of the team. Thanks for watching. You will never walk alone.